Oh, guys. If you can see it. <laughs> Gingy, watch out, baby. I'm trying to video this guy. Uh, see him? He's looking around at me. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just here to look at you. He's letting me get real close to him. He's not scared of me. <laughs> He's like, you're in my space, though. <laughs> All right, we'll leave you alone, guys. All right. Let's go, Ginger. This girl right here. She's my baby. She's my oldest one. She's four years old, and I got to spend just one on one. She, she was two years old before we got Rocky. So she was fully grown. She ain't never um, been, um, she don't know, uh, sorry, all these grasshoppers and stuff are <laughs> distracting me. That's a ADHD guy and um, not being able to be focused long at a time and see whenever I'm walking and I see stuff cause I'm watch watching the ground and I see stuff moving, I look, and if I see some other stuff, I look at that. <laughs> and then when I'm talking, I get, I forget what I'm talking about. And that's part of my thing of not being, staying on one subject very long. Um, and if I do, I have to be very interested in it, if it can be a long span, long span. And let me tell you, it was hard it was very hard, frustrating growing up, not understanding what all this about because I watching the other kids around me getting it, taking it on, and that, and I was like, man, what am I doing wrong? Because they, they getting it down and they're doing this. So guys, what I would do is I would just get the papers, mark it, and whatever I had to do, and hurry up and turn it in because I just thought they were doing that and turning it in because. There was no way. I don't know. That's just how it in, and I and I failed school. <laughs> and I was good in sports. And but whenever I was in school, that's all I had to do is be good in sports. I was at a country school. Come on, Ginger. Come on. I was in a country school, and I was able to do that. And then when I got in high school, it wasn't that easy no more. I mean, it was just harder. And then you had to get with people that. Um, that's all around the world, and, and and just because you're good, there's always someone out there better, guys. So then whenever people got here and then gave me a challenge, I was focused more on my sports and in school because I was like, hey, I got this, but these guys got it down too, So and they're better than me, so I gotta keep practicing. So, rather, and then that was hands-on stuff. And the more I got to looking at, you know, how worldly things work, I would get confused because like in science and social studies, I didn't, I don't know the difference in them. I just know that they are going on the history about this and that. And then, but the facts wasn't, well, the facts wasn't right in my head. You know what I'm saying? And then you, I was watching my mom and them, you know, survive. She did, I don't, I don't know if she went to her high school or not, guys. Just remember, I was eight years old when my mom passed away. So I was just getting to realize who she, you know, I remember her. I remember what she looks like. I forgot what she sounds like. But I'm 38 now, and so that's 30 years ago, guys. And, uh that's the difference between me now and kids now that's grown up losing their parents now I don't know how to uh, I don't know how to uh, comfort them I don't know how because when I lost my mom the world just kept going no one knew understood and know why um, but I didn't have mine and uh So uh, I wanted to be like them, so I, I pushed it aside and I didn't understand how the world worked. 
But I just know now that it makes more sense. Science and stuff makes more sense now because now they're figuring out this and figuring out that. And it was all basically they're having to rewrite history over and over and over. It's because they don't know, guys. They don't know. And uh, listening to our elders and our stories and stuff and you're realizing, hey, if they would have listened to us, they would have known this long time ago. They wouldn't have just now understand, hey, this is why this is. Come on, guys. And the things they couldn't explain, they just try to shove it off to the side and say, hey, this was this and it wasn't that. You know, and that, and anyway, what I'm trying to say is that, that there's many greats out there that isn't smart. There's many a greats out there that don't know how to read. There's many a greats that, that can't read notes. There's many a greats that can't, you know, but they're great at it. Because there's people out there that learns hands-on rather than reading something and get it. They have to be shown and they can get it bam like that. But you have to go to school to do it. So that stops a lot of us that, that, that don't know how to do the reading situation stuff. It leaves us in the dark because we are hands-on. And I think if we were more recognized when I was younger, that I would have been able to succeed. And just like my biggest thing now is my disability. Um, I'm not stupid and I'm not that smart either. But I know that uh, people want you to succeed and they'll just tell you, you know, get it on disability, it's easy. But if it was that easy, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be having a hard time getting on it. And I'm 38 years old, guys. You know, and, I, and yeah, I get mad at myself too, but that's something that I won't click in my head. And I don't understand. That's just like, okay, simple, more simple um, example. Uh, my vows, my vows, I, I don't, I can't remember what they sound like, what they what they stand for, because another thing that really confused me is whenever they threw in, this is silent, this sounds like this, and this sounds like that. Um, that really confused me. So I did not get that stuff down at all. <laughs> and not going on what's going on at home. And now I'm watching my friends on social media, they lose them, and I don't know what to say to them. Because I'm just like, well, all I can say is, is the hurt hurts, but life keeps going on. So I, I don't know, I mean, and, and I'm just, and I see them, they're moving on, but they've got to spend more time with their parents, you know, and so that must hurt even worse. So I can't, I don't know, I can't, I can't tell you how that feels. Because I was only got eight years with mine, and I, It sucked. But anyways, Ginger wants to say hello to our neighbors, so I'm going to let him do that. I'm going to turn this off for the respect of it.